But I can also say that um, law enforcement officials with the gun and badge, any one of them worth their salt is going to know the difference between somebody who's lost and scared and somebody who's out there kicking up dust for the fun of it. (laughs) Um, And they'll know how to take the appropriate action in either case. So we rarely have to be concerned if we see, you know, uh, LEO um, out there, we should, we should welcome it. Um, And, you know, there, there are cases, of course, somebody could bring up where, you know, there was an LEO who maybe didn't like OHB recreation, but that's not the case universally. And, um, if we can stop the, the person out there intending to do harm and help the person that's lost and scared, we're probably in good shape. Yeah. I yes. mean, we, we, last year we dealt with out of the Maumee helmets. I mean, just a simple thing that just comes natural to us as, you know, I've been riding all my life, you know, and how many times we were out there riding and, and especially the, the new, the newbies, the rookies, you know, they're out on the, they get the side by sides and stuff. And I, again, I think they just don't, always know this is what you need to do even though it's posted you know but just having that law enforcement presence man makes it makes a huge difference and then it trickles to the community you just talked Mm -hmm. about that that stuff goes online well they're they're checking they're checking stickers they're checking sound they're checking helmets they're checking gear eye protection all that stuff and it just it just makes it better because i think at the end of the day we just want everybody to be safe right kind of getting to novak's you know, number one rules is safe riding, right? And I don't mind the sheriff going by my house to get out to the forest to check it out. More more traffic coming up and down through here is even better. They're watching my place too. You know? Yeah, exactly. It, you know, it's, it's a nice carryover effect. And, and yeah, to to the the gear and helmets. You know, there is education, and what you see is the people who have been invested in the sport for their entire lives, uh, like probably everybody in this podcast. Um, they tend to lean towards the helmet, understand it, lean towards the rest of the gear, and it's all important. But, you know, somebody who, again, getting back to the ROVs where it feels familiar to sit in one uh, because it, the controls are similar to um, what's in your road going vehicle. But the outcomes that could happen if you don't wear the appropriate gear are different than in a vehicle, uh, a road going vehicle. So education is key. Um, and you know, I've had little minor spillovers and gotten back to camp and then realized I had a a gouge in my helmet after I got back, um, not wearing the helmet, a little spillover, it could have been a trip to the hospital as opposed to a nice, uh, people laughing at me for falling over around the campfire. Right. Um, so it's personal to me. It's not just my job. I believe in the gear and I would encourage everybody to wear it. Well, I, I crash so much. So, you know, you've been, you know, they've been asking you to double mask. I wear two helmets. Yeah. It protects <laughs> me really good. Yeah. No, I, I've been riding for a long, long time and I crash a lot. So I, I'm firm believer in every bit of protection gear you can get. Gravity, gravity beats them already. All the time. You know, <laughs> I, I can tell you, this is a true statement. Every time I've been on two wheels in sand, I've had to pick the bike up. Eventually. So you didn't, you, you didn't like the Novak. What was it in uh, 2018? The, the, the conference was in Michigan, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, I love the side by side I was in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm happy with that, with that now. Uh, I, I can't do two wheels in sand. I tell you we what. I not convince him to get on a bike out there in Michigan. <laughs> that's that's what I grew up riding, Enduros and, and trail riding up in the, in the state of Michigan. So that's like right at home for me. But I tell you, when I was at the, you talk about the side by sides and the, you know, I have a two seater Polaris Ranger 570 I use around at the house and we do use it when we do trail trail maintenance at the state forest and it's nice to have you can pack the gear in there and stuff but when we were at the Novak conference in Reno we rode those they were 1000 cc turbo <laughs> razors or whatever they were I I could not believe the power on those things and I just you know I would say I'm a fairly skilled driver right you know but I just picture absolute beginners in one of them things oh yeah holy smokes i mean it, it could be a real serious and then they you know like i said last year we had these situations where we were seeing them out there with no helmets and it's like oh man you know we just we got to just be really careful really careful i and i have you know i my you know I, i'm a bike guy and 
my my wife and my daughter and my grandkids, you know, we have a four seater Polaris and, you know, and everything has in an off road. We also have a Jeep and, you know, in the old days I had a, you know, Volkswagen Beetle that we ran through the hills of Arizona with. And, but, you know, it, it does, it is nice because, and that's one of the things when you start seeing the four seaters and stuff, it, it is family. You know, you very seldom do you see four adults in a in a, in a side by side. Occasionally, occasionally, but usually it's you know it's grandpa and grandma and a couple of grandkids or parents and the kids. So you know, there's a lot more to it just throwing me on the on the back of a on a bike and going. Now you've got three other you know bodies that you have to think of, and that's you know that's like I said, it's it's easy because it's like getting in the car. You know, and, yeah, and how uh, great is it for anyone of any age for their uh, mental, spiritual, and physical health to be able to get outdoors? Um, you know, there's a heavy focus on preserving outdoor, you know, our natural resources. Um, but one way, the only way some people will have the opportunity to see some of this stuff is in one of these vehicles. And, and that's just awesome. And I guess on the same token, uh, maybe the, the young son takes out the, the vehicle the next day and has a different experience. But um, they're just wonderful vehicles that get a, more opportunity to more people to see more things. And we want to continue that. And the best way to do that is to ride safely and responsibly. Yes. Gear up, um, stay on trail, everything that Novak is always harping on. And uh, we harp on it for good reason because that's the, that's what will preserve the future of our sport. That's what's going to make sure we get back to the campsite safely. And that's what's going to make sure we have great relationships moving forward with everybody who goes outdoors. <laughs>